Okay, so this value, we're going to change it to seven. I think that's where the problem was. And um, let's see how, how the program works. Okay, we need to make the form sticky so that the values that we add in, they actually stick when we submit it. And um, we're going to, we're going to add read only over here. to try and submit it again actually we can just refresh okay I think we're going to have to re um, restart the program again okay there's something wrong Read only. Okay, we will we'll view the, the page source. Hopefully, we can see what's wrong with it. Okay, so I realized that this needs to be, this actually needs to be in, uh, in double quotes. This value here should be in double quotes. Um, and the outside here should be single quotes. So let's try and see if the program is fixed. Hopefully it's sticky right now. Okay, it did not stick. Okay, I know what the problem is here. This should be in double quotes. And this, we should concatenate it. Okay, now I'm sure it'll work. Okay, what's the problem now? Um, let's try spacing it, spacing this value here, let's see if that works. Okay, yeah, sometimes it's just a small, something small like spacing, it can affect your whole program. Okay, so x, o, x, um, o, x, okay, this should give us, oh no, yeah, okay, player zero, player o wins. Okay, so we can try, we can try adding something other than X or O to see if the errors 
have been captured. If I put N, okay. So there is a problem with with the error there. Okay, we should create an else statement here. After this if. Okay, after this if we need to create an else an if elf else state statement um, to accommodate the the error. Okay, so why is it giving me this? Okay. It should actually be above this else. Okay, let's try that again. Efforts else error. Okay, okay, I know what the problem is. So it it gives us the error. We also need to close this. This closing bracket for this element. That was not accommodated before, so we just added that. And we're going to add an else if for the error. Okay, we'll try inserting an error again and see. Please enter X or O so we can re enter it again. So we can just try and see if all the Okay. So there is another problem here. X X X please enter X or all values okay I think we need to restart this program okay Okay, that has not been accommodated for um there is actually one five nine one five nine three five seven One five nine three five seven. Okay, so one five nine. Three five nine actually 
minus 2 plus 2 plus 0. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, there's something wrong with this line here. A, A is equals to B, and B is equals to C. So add 2 here, that'll be 3, 5, 7, 1, 5, 9. Three, five, seven. There shouldn't be a problem with that. If post A is equal to B and B is equal to C, there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Okay, so this should actually be great. Or equal to seven. Okay, let's see if that works. So that, that has been solved. We just change this here, this greater than, and everything works. I think the next thing is to see whether it actually uh, shows a draw. So we're going to run the program again. Okay, so player X wins. Oh yeah, actually player X wins. We need to rerun this program without anyone winning. So X O X O X O to rerun it again the O is actually matched I'm not sure if you know it's but it, they actually matched but let's try this again X O X O X O So this should be a draw.
Yes. So it was a draw. So this is the code. I just use PHP and HTML tags. So the code works fine. I guess other things could be added like uh, resetting all the values and um, you can actually make it look better like using HTML like but this uh, this whole program was just focused on the logic right behind creating this game well I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching